Veterans of the Inco strike, which lasted from September 1978 to June 1979, shared their stories with those involved in the current Valley Inco strike. Dave Williams, who worked at the former Inco for 25 years, said Steelworkers Local 6500 members are fighting to keep what past union members won during the long bitter strike more than 30 years ago. Chris Wills came, we told him to go to hell. So we stayed out till May. In May, the, at the end of May, the bargaining committee came back and gave us an offer. We told them to go back to Toronto to Tatlinko that they kept us out all winter. Now we, we'll stay up all summer if we have to, but you, you give us what we want. They went back to Toronto and in a week they were back with what we wanted and we got 30 and out. Dave Campbell was the president of Local 6500 between 1987 and 1998. He said the strike back in 78 was the first time he participated in contract negotiations. You talk about an eye-opener, and this was a bastard company then, but it was a different kind of a bastard company. They wanted to break us, they wanted to take away our pensions and cut our benefits and not give us raises and be able to force the justice all over the place, similar to what you're going through. But this company had to answer to shareholders. Campbell said Inco learned a few lessons from the 1978-79 strike. Inco learned after that, they hired a gentleman to run their bargaining uh, called Roy Aikens. I remember having, he's dead now. And I remember having a conversation with him in subsequent negotiations through the years and he said, you know, 78 was bad but it taught us a lesson. You can't work people and not pay them well and expect to have quality people. <laughs> And you got to treat people like people if you're going to expect them to treat the company the way we wanted to be treated.